how do you build a desktop recording studio for your audio recording needs that helps absorb all those unwanted room noises you get when you do your narration? I'm Andrew Burke, and I make stuff, and I'll show you how to do it inexpensively with stuff you probably already have around your house so it'll save you some money, and it'll make you sound great. I'll show you how, right now. So I finished shooting the visual portion of my first video, and when I went to sit down and put the audio in and add the voice narration, I realized that it was getting all these weird noises um, from outside, from next door, the music, my own voice bouncing off the ceiling, and that I needed some sort of a way to control that, an isolator, a, uh, an isolation booth of kinds, that I can just put my voice in the microphone and it will block out everything else. Um, so that's what we're gonna build right now. On second thought, I'd like to show it to you on paper first. I think it'll make a lot of sense that way. And while I have your attention, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, smash that thing, and then hit the ding little bell icon so that every time I post something new online, you are the first to know about it. And if you would, as this is a brand new channel, I'm collecting ideas for what you, my subscribers, want me to make a video about. So what do you want to see Burke make? Drop it down in the comments below. All right, let's get to the paper. So let's say that this paper is a bird's eye view of a room. Now that room is full of sounds that you don't want getting to your microphone. But if you have your microphone out in the open, all those sounds can get right in it because that, well, that's what microphones do. So this is not what we want. Same room, same microphone, but this time we're gonna set it up inside a box. Not just any box, an insulated box. Insulated on all sides. Now. When those sounds try to get to that microphone, they're blocked by the box and the soft insulation, which kind of suck it up. I'm sure you're wondering about the open side of the box because sound can get in that way, but actually that's not a problem either. This is your head, these are your shoulders, you are an insulator and you're in front of that box. So the only thing getting through the microphone is your awesome voice. Let's take a look at the materials we need. First up, glue sticks. Lots of glue sticks. And then of course, to go with them, you're gonna need a glue gun. If you're gonna be serious about your audio recording, of course you're gonna to wanna to get yourself a really good microphone. Now while the one I'm using right now was only $40 on Amazon, uh, the sound quality it puts out is absolutely wonderful. It's called the Blue Snowball. Uh, check it out. You'll also be needing a box. Uh, the type of box doesn't matter at all, it just has to be big enough to hold your microphone and for you to kind of be able to lean into while you're doing your voice recording. Before anybody writes in the comments, yes, it is a box from Amazon. No, Amazon is not one of my sponsors. But Amazon, if you want to sponsor me, hey, how you doing? The last thing we need to think about is the insulator that we're actually going to put inside the box to absorb all that room sound that we don't want getting into our microphone. Uh, in this case, I'm using the wool insulation from thermally insulated food bags. Oh, okay, maybe I should explain that one. Uh, we get food delivered, smoothie stuff, from a company that sends them in these. Thermally insulated Mylar bags. Um, you don't have these, so you can use a blanket. You can use uh, cotton batting from the store. You can use pillows. You can use anything that's going to be sound absorbent. Um, I'm not going to use this as it is. I'm going to rip the guts out. This. It's squishy. It's wool. It's uh, it's cut. It's uh, very thermally insulated and sound absorbent. It's beautiful. I like it. Let's use it. Let's get that glue gun plugged in and we're ready to go. Oh yeah, glue guns take a while to warm up. Now that the glue gun is all heated up, you want to make sure you're laying down a nice thick bead of glue wherever the box and the insulator meets. That makes sure it holds it in place really well. And you want to make sure that you press that insulator onto the box so that you have it secured in place. Here I'm cutting out some more insulation just to fill in those gaps. You want to make sure you have the best coverage possible and the most coverage possible so that all of those room noises are fully absorbed and don't make their way to your microphone. Ta-da! Done. Glue, box, insulator, done. 
Hi, just wanted to interrupt my own video for a second to let you know, um, no, it, it's not pretty. It's not meant to be. Uh, it's meant to be efficient. Um, I could go out and spend $300 on one of these things easy without really breaking the bank or without having to put the time into it, but this is simple, effective, and easy to build. Why, why would I not? Um, so, do it. That's easy. All right, back to the video. Uh, microphone's in. I'm gonna get to recording voice narration now. If you like this, hit the subscribe button and that little bell. That way it'll let you know every time I put up a new video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Thank you. <laughs> this is the part where I pretend to talk into the microphone. Blah, blah, blah. Go, go. How do you turn this thing off?